Heidi ho YouTubers. I've been cleaning up around the yard some, and part of our ditches around the place I've left unmowed for a while. That's because we had a couple of yellow squash plants that volunteered. I'm not sure how they got there. Maybe a bird dropped some seeds or they washed down there from last year's garden, but the final harvest will go into the root cellar for the winter. We've eaten some and given some more away to the goats for treats. So anyhow, I picked the last of them and headed out with the mower and the weed eater and got things cleaned up for the winter. But as I was doing it, something hit me. Oh, by the way, I missed a couple and wound up mowing over them. I guess I'll leave them there seeds and all. There's always next year, right? So, why not make use of this resource? These ditches of ours are a pain to mow all the summer long, and my garden space is pretty limited for an SHTF world. Hey, I could do pumpkins and squash Butternut squash and acorn squash, watermelons, cantaloupes. Well, you get the idea. Anyhow, here's a space that I had previously thought was wasted, and the melons didn't seem to bother the grass much, so the ground won't be washing away any worse in the winter time. I'll probably lose a little produce to passers-by, but hey, I'll just plant more. Anyhow, we should take our lessons from nature sometimes. Sometimes they give us a trick or two, and we can, oh, I don't know, think outside the box as a result.